Hey guys, welcome to another Best GIMP training video. In this video, I'm just going to give you some pointers on organizing your files. And then I'm also going to show you how to export your files into a usable format. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to create two folders. GIMP Originals, this is all the original files that you get from me. And then as you save and export your files, I want you to save them in another folder called My GIMP Files or something similar so that you can keep these two separated because it's not a good idea to make changes to the originals. You want to always be able to fall back to these if you have to. So let's talk about saving your images and exporting them to a file format that's going to be usable. So as you can see, I have this random image that I got from the internet opened and I've opened it in GIMP. And anytime that you open an image in GIMP, what you're doing is you're opening the image into a an XCF file, and an XCF file can only be opened by GIMP. Well, that's fine if you're just viewing images and making changes, but that doesn't really help you if you want to use this image somewhere else. If you want to share it to social media, or if you want to post it to a website, or if you'd like to print it. So let's talk about exporting your images into a file format that you choose. The first thing you want to do is just go to File, go to Export As, and choose the location that you want to save the image. In this case, we're going to be saving to My GIMP Files. So I'll just go ahead and open up that. And up top, we're going to choose a name for the image. So I'm just going to name this one Jungle. But I also want to change the extension. So most commonly, we want to use PNG for our project. And the reason we want to change the image to a PNG is because a PNG will preserve transparency. So anytime we have transparency on our image, which we'll be talking about later on in the series, it will be preserved. If we were to export this as a JPEG, then anywhere that we have transparent areas on the image will turn to solid white. And that's not what we want. As we go through the project, I want you guys to save all your files as PNGs. And we'll just open up simple PNG image files as we go along. As you become more familiar with the different types of image formats, you can change this extension to any format that you'd like. For a list of supported export formats, just click this down arrow and you can see all the different formats that you can save your file as. You can save it as an HTML, a JPEG, you can even save it as a PDF. A lot of people like TIFF and there's uses for all of them and we'll be going over a lot of them as this series progresses. But like I said before, we're going to be using the PNG format, which we've already chosen. And so after that's done, we hit export. This menu pops up. The only thing that I want you to make sure you do is check save background color. What that's going to do is it's going to preserve the transparency that you have on your image. When that's done, hit export. And now you're done. You've just exported this image into a single PNG image. So if I open up that folder, I can just preview it with any program or I can post it on Facebook or anything like that. But more importantly, I want you to save it as a PNG so we can continue to use them in our project as we continue on. If you guys have any questions about saving your file into a different format, or exporting our image to a different format, go ahead and leave me a question below, and I will see you guys in the next video.